Hello, and welcome to my, actually, my first ever, um, recording for YouTube that hasn't been a music video. Um, my name is Raven, or, well, my alias is Raven, and I thought for my very first game, I would bring, I'd bring you something that I've been playing for the past couple of months, and I've really been enjoying. It's also something that makes me want to pull my hair up from time to time, but that's, that's true of most games, isn't it? Um, so yeah, this is Town of Sail. I'm sorry for that. This is Town of Sail, and it's a game that's been out for a couple of years, I must have been that, but I only got involved with it about two, three months ago? I, I'd have to look it up to know exactly when. But the general premise of it is this, um, I'll load a game just as I'm Actually, I was going to do a hard match, but just so I can show off the general gist of things, I start off with a classic match, and uh, don't worry about the timer, I played a couple of practice games earlier to practice my recording setup. So the general premise of the game is this. There are 50 players all in the town of Salem, uh, especially when they don't leave. Please stay in the freaking server. <laughs> this is one of the things that like, pulls my fucking hair, I swear. And on the right of the screen there, we had a list of roles. Don't worry about them disappearing. Um, they'll, they'll be back um, once we actually get into the game proper. But name selection first. Um, I will go... You typically want to choose something that isn't close to your username or something that can really identify you. So I like going with... Azazel, Azazel, I, I don't know how to say it. <clears throat> and yes, you can have scrolls equipped, and for the purposes of testing, I did have scrolls equipped, not that they did much good. But I'm going to play what I get, and my role is Escort, as you can see there. You're a beautiful woman, wrong, skilled in distraction. <laughs> yeah, I imagine if I fucking whip my, tr whip my thing out, um... I'd, dis I'd be enough to distract anyone. <laughs> but basically, my role, like, there's a description of my role up here. And the role list, as you can see uh, here, um, it, it was it was over here, but it's now here. I'll keep it open just so you can see it all. I'm just going to type this. Now, it's always important to keep logs. Uh, now I will do Kiki here. Now, Escort's role is to block other people. It is, it's to block people from using their roles. And I'll go through each of these in turn. Now, the green people here are town members, of which I am a part as Escort. The red, the, the red people here are members of the Mafia, and there are three of them. Blue is serial killer, and they work on the roll. And, oh good, I survived the first night. <laughs> yeah, a lot happens at night. Um, serial killer doesn't work with anyone, and their objective is just to freaking kill everyone at every opportunity. Now, interestingly, there were no mafia kills there, but I'll come to, I'll come to that in a moment. Um... Executioner doesn't actually take a hostile role, but is neutral. The Executioner's objective is to... Whoa! That, that came as a surprise. The Executioner's role is to get a specific town member killed. But I'll come to that all in more detail. So let's go down the list. So first off, we've got the Sheriff. The Sheriff goes around town at night, selecting one person at a time to check and see if they're a Mafia member. And if they are a Mafia member or the serial killer, it will get flagged up to them, and they'll be able to say. Next up is Doctor. Doctor's pretty self-explanatory. They heal people at night, so if, say for example, if I was attacked and the Doctor came to me as well on the same night, the doctor would actually prevent me from dying, which is pretty nice. Investigator is a bit of a tricky one. It's a bit like Sheriff in that they go around at night um, trying to see if people are mafia or whatnot, but it's not as easy for them because they will come up with 
in two or three resorts. So take my role for example, Escort. I will come up to an investigator as an escort or a consort, and a consort is a mafia. Um, it, it's basically the same as an escort, but works with a mafia instead. Uh, we'll pick them out of today. And somebody's cooking something, and it smells bloody delicious. <laughs> but in that particular instance, there are no consorts in a classic game, so I'm automatically identified as escort. Jeers choose to jam someone during the day and then at night they are protected from all attacks but from night to onwards a jailer can choose to execute the person they jailed uh but if they oh damn it Well, let's see how smart the town is here. But <laughs> I'll continue to go through the list just as this is um, just as this is going through. Oh, damn! I can't believe I died so early. So uh, yeah, the jailer we've just explained. The medium, the medium is a bit of a weird, a weird one. In that, I. It, it, no, it's nothing to do with me. What the fuck am I talking about? In the, they can't really do anything in terms of in terms of attacking people, killing people, doing anything like that. But what they do is they talk with the dead. So like if I see here, uh, so like, so bang, death sucks. My text is greater. It's because I'm dead. And like the dead people can talk. At any point, basically. But the living people will not see it, so that's the point. Um, but a medium at night will be able to talk to the SK. <laughs> I feel you. Um, I'll come back to the Mafia neutral roles here. I'll do the rest of the towns. So, escort what I was is I prevent people. Uh, an escort. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, it prevents people from using a roll. But, as you saw with the serial killer, if an escort tries to roll walk a serial killer, the serial killer kills the escort. Or uh, consort in some other games as well. So the medium will now see this because it's night, by the way. Inspecting anyone? What's the matter? Yeah, I just said. Um, so hopefully they'll get the message across if they survived, and it was absolutely no guarantee of that. Um, but yeah, it basically prevents people from performing their roles. So, ugh, you cheeky bastard. Um, so, for example, if I was an investigator and uh, an escort visited me, I wouldn't get any results for that night. Please don't be the medium. <laughs> um, I say, come back to the mafia. Lookout is a bit of a weird one. The lookout uh, visits people each night secretly, and at the end of each night, it can s they can see. Who actually visited? Fuck! Ah, oh, damn it! Ah, oh, see what I mean about wanting to tear your hair out? <laughs> but yeah, Luca will be able to see um, who visited a particular person that they've chosen. Um, but it won't say what they wear, so... Let's take Kiki for example here. It could have said... Larry and Kiwi both went to him, for example. But it wouldn't say what they were. Um, Terry Keeling is a bit of a weird one, because it can be one of two things. It can be a vigilante or a veteran. And I'll explain what both of those are. A vigilante from night to onwards has a gun and has a gun and 
three and three bullets. They use one per minute. And they can target anyone they like to shoot kill them. But if they kill a town member, they will commit suicide the next night. Holy shit. Um, we know a veteran. A veteran doesn't actually visit people. Oh wait, no, a vid. Uh, yeah, a vid does have three shots. One dollar. Uh, meanwhile, a veteran doesn't actually visit anyone, but is more focused on self-preservation. Ha <laughs> ha Uh, the stupidity of some people sometimes. Um, but yeah, a veteran has three alert. Uh, three alerts is what they're called. And if anyone visits a veteran on a night that they are killed, on, on a night they're uh, they alert, even anyone that visits them is killed. And then I'll come back to Jester. Random turn can literally be any town member. And I mean any town member. So, transporter, bang, right there, that's actually the random town for this match. Because it's not one of the other roles, it's not town killing. But, of course, that's just the town roles. If we go to the Mafia in this case, the Godfather is the leader of the Mafia. And something unique to the Godfather, the Godfather is actually immune at night. <laughs> They're actually immune at night. But if there's also a mafioso, and in this case there is currently, oh actually no it's not a mafioso it, uh, currently, because they died night one. The mafioso... oh. The Mafioso will follow the Godfather's orders. If the Godfather says, kill this person, they'll kill them. If there's no Mafioso, the Godfather will just do it themselves. A Mafioso is exactly the same thing, but if it's no Godfather, it just kills of its own right, but it doesn't have night immunity. <clears throat> so they can just, they can die. Ah, shit. <laughs> Town's in trouble, I, I can say that much. Now, a Framer... A framer will go to any member of the public. Uh, ooh, Jester down, that's nice. A framer will go to any member of the town and it will make them become a framer, basically. Or a forger, depending on how you look at it. Um, so an, a sheriff will go to that person for that night and it would say um, that this person is mafia. Or conversely, an investigator would go to them and it would say, um, this person is a framer or a forger. I don't remember the exact line, but it comes up framer or forger. Both mafia roles. So that looks deeply suspicious to the rest of the town in an attempt to get them lynched, essentially. Meanwhile, as I said, working on their own is the serial killer. Now, the serial killer also has an item. But it's not on a, he's not on a team with each other. And one thing I forgot to mention about the Mafia, just quickly, is they can see who the other Mafia members are. Like, it's not a complete stab in the dark. Like, they, they see who they are, and it, they, they can communicate with each other. Um, but the serial killer, if there is more than one serial killer in a match, which can happen in, like, all any and stuff, Serial killers cannot communicate with each other. They cannot um, see each other. They don't know who is other serial killers. But they will go around and kill absolutely anyone and everyone. They don't win with anyone other than the executioner, funnily enough, and Jester. But technically they don't win on their own. So for all intents and purposes, the SK wins on their own. They, they, they are basically a lone wolf. Um, but, as you saw in my case, unfortunately, if an escort 
actually tries to roll off a serial killer, whoever the serial killer was trying to attack, or even if they were just trying to sit and hang out, the serial killer will automatically kill the escort. Which, uh, was unfortunate. Oh, shot by a vigilante, so the town killer is a vigilante rather than a veteran. And they shot a townie, which means the vigilante is going to die tonight. But there are two roles here in the role list that I haven't actually covered. And they're kind of related to each other in a way, and that's Executioner and Jester. Now, both of these are neutral roles, but they're, they're the same but different. And let me explain that. An Executioner is the only neutral, uh, the only, I was going to say the only neutral role that's immune at night, but that's actually not true. <laughs> but the Executioner is immune at night, so they cannot be killed at night. And the Executioner has but one goal, to get their target lynched by any means necessary, and survive themselves, obviously. Um, so say, for example, I think the Executioner's still up, funnily enough. The Executioner may have won, actually, so say the Executioner's John Dole, and their target was John Proctor, <laughs> if I just try and think of a Tony that was um, being lynched. Um, that's, that's the other thing. The Executioner's target will always be um, a Tony member. It will never be Mafia, never be neutral, or anything like that. So... Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I just noticed there's three Johns. <laughs> um... But... Um, but yeah, what was I going to say? Shit, I've lost my place now. <laughs> I've completely lost what I was going to say. But yeah, once they, if they get the target lynched, the Executioner automatically wins. Just like, right off the bat, and they will win with it. They have won no matter what, even if they then get lynched themselves. <laughs> Which has happened, believe me. Um, but, if their target is killed, like executed by the jailer, targeted by Mafia, SK, or they just flat out left, which annoyingly I've had. Oh, John was the executioner. Hang on a minute, let me ask someone. <laughs> what were the odds? And yeah, Fred Meager actually just uh, took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> um, if a tar if an executioner's target dies before they are lynched, they are they become jester. Now, what a jester is is quite possibly one of the hardest roles I've ever had to play, and that's saying something because a jester wants to be lynched. They, the, if an executioner becomes a jester, they lose night immunity. Oops. Um. Yeah, turn really did good, right? This is gonna be a mafia win. I can say. That. Uh, I can say that right. But, <laughs> the Jester has to get lynched, one way or another. And if they get lynched, they automatically win. In the same way that an Executioner, if they get their target, they automatically win. 
So, like, John says he's got his target, so he's already won. It's just a matter of 